Tesla was born in Mizan, Croatia on July 10, 1856. Tesla was one of five children including Stubling Dane, Angelina, Milka and Marika. Tesla's interest in electrical invention was sparked by his mother, Zukamansi, who invented small household appliances in her spare time while her son was growing up. Tesla's father, Militin Tesla, was a Serbian Orthodox priest and a writer, and he pushed for his son to join the priesthood. But Nikola's interest lay swirly in the science. Nikola Tesla vs. Thomas Edison In 1884, Tesla arrived in the United States with little more than clothes on his back and a letter of introduction to famed inventor and business mogul Thomas Edison, whose DC-based electrical work were fast becoming the standard in the country. Edison hired Tesla and the two men were soon working tirelessly alongside each other, making improvement through Edison's invention. Several months later, the two parted way due to conflicting business scientific relationships attributed by historians to their incredibly different personalities. While Edison was a poor figure who focused on marketing and financial success, Tesla was commercially out of touch and somewhat vulnerable. First solo venture. In 1885, Tesla received funding for the Tesla Electric Light Company and was tasked by his investor to develop improved art lighting. After successfully doing so, however, Tesla was forced out of the venture and for a time had to work as a manual laborer in order to survive. His luck will change two years later when he received funding for his new Tesla Electric Company. Invention Throughout his career, Tesla discovered, designed, and developed idea of a number of important inventions, most of which were officially patterned by other inventors, including Dynamo and the induction motor. He was also a pioneer in the discovery of radar technology, X-ray technology, remote control, and a rotating magnetic field. Mm -hmm. Tesla is most well known for his contribution in DC electricity and for the Tesla coil. Tesla SC system soon caught uh, the attention of American engineer and businessman George Westinghouse, who was seeking a solution to supplying the nation with long distance power. Convinced that Tesla invention will help him achieve this, in 1888 he purchased his pattern for $60,000 in cash and stock in the Westinghouse Corporation. Unfortunately for Edison, the Westinghouse Corporation was chosen to supply the lighting at 1893 World Columbian Exposition in Chicago and Tesla conducted a demonstration of his SC system there. Hydroelectric power plant. In 1895, Tesla designed what was among the first SC hydroelectric power plant in the United States at Niagara Falls. The following year, it was used for the city of Buffalo, New York. A feat that was highly publicized throughout the world and helped further SC electricity power to becoming the world's power system. In the late 19th century, Tesla patterned the Tesla coil, which laid the foundation of wireless technology and is still using radio technology today. The heart of an electrical circuit and the Tesla coil is an inductor using many early radio transmission antenna. The coil works with capacitor to resonate current and voltage from power source across the circuit. Tesla himself used his coil to study fluorescence, X-ray, radio, wireless power, and electromagnetism in the earth and it is it is most fear. Free energy, having become obsessed with the wireless transmission of energy around 19, Tesla set to work on his boldest project to build a global wireless communication system to be transmitted through a large electrical tower for sharing information and providing free energy throughout the world. 
put funding from a group of investors that include financial giant JP Morgan. In 1901, Tesla began work on the free energy project in Arnes, designing and building a liquid power plant and mischief transmission tower on a site on loan. However, doubt arose among his investors about the possibility of Tesla's system as his rival, Guglielmo Marconi, with the financial support of Andrew Garnery and Thomas Edison, continued to make great advances with his own radio technology. Tesla had no choice but to abandon the project. The World and Cliff Stock was laid off in 1906 and by 1950 the site had fallen into foreclosure. Dead Ray, after suffering a nervous breakdown following the closure of his free energy project, Tesla eventually returned to work primarily as a consultant, but as time went on, his idea became progressively more outlandish and in practice. He grew increasingly eccentric, devoting much of his time to the care of well pigeon in the park of New York City. Tesla even drew the attention of the FBI with his talk of building powerful Dead Ray, which has received some interest from the Soviet Union during World War II. How did Nikola Tesla die? Pure and reclusive, Tesla died of coronary thrombosis on January 7, 1943 at the age of 86 in New York City, where he had lived for nearly 60 years. However, the legacy of the work Tesla left behind him lived on to this day. Movies on Tesla. Several movies have highlighted Tesla life and famous work. The Secret of Nikola Tesla, 1980 bi biographical film starring Orson Welles as J.P. Morgan. Nikola Tesla, a genius who lit the wall. The Prestige, a 2006 fictional film about two musicians directed by Christopher Nolan with rock star David Bowie portraying Tesla. Tesla motor and electric car. In 2003, a group of engineers found Tesla, a car company, after Tesla dedicated to building the first fully electric power car. Entrepreneur and engineer Elon Musk contributed over $30 million to Tesla in 2004 and served as the company co-founder CEO. Tesla Science Center and Wardenclyffe Since Tesla originated for feature of a free energy project, ownership of the Wardenclyffe property has passed through numerous hands. Several attempts have been made to preserve it, but in 1967, 1976, and 1994, effort to have it a National Historic Site fell. Then in 2008, a group called the Tesla Science Center was formed with the invention of purchasing the property and turning it to a museum dedicated to the inventor's work.